Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Charlotte and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the things I've been doing to help my daughter through the teething phase. Now I can't believe that she has already cut four teeth. It's so cute. Honestly, when she smiles, her two top teeth kind of peek through and it is the most adorable thing ever. I was honestly totally underprepared for teething. I thought we had at least a couple more months left, but she cut four teeth in four days. And needless to say, there was a lot of soothing that I had to do to help her through the teething experience. If you have a baby at home who is teething, what are your tips and tricks? I wanna know everything, everything that will help me to help Ophelia Put it down in the comments below. I would love to read that. But for now, let's get into what I've been doing to help Ophelia. So the first thing that we did is we used Oza cream. Now I'm not quite sure if you can find this in the UK or anywhere outside of Switzerland, which is probably not a very useful tip, but in Switzerland it is all the rage. I have a lot of friends who have either worked in nurseries or have worked with babies and they all recommended that we use Oza cream. There's two different types of Oza creams. One of them is with pink writing and that is more more of a numbing cream. It's advised to use that in the evening, you know, before Phil goes to sleep, to just numb the gums so she can fall asleep better and also because she can sleep longer. The other cream has green writing and that is just a cooling gel for the gums. I keep both creams in the fridge that was recommended to me by a midwife and they're really nice to cool those gums just as the teeth are breaking through. I used the Oza cream pretty much only during those days while I could tell that she was in a lot of pain and she needed a little bit of relief from that pain. And honestly, the cream worked really, really well. Something that I saw all over Pinterest and I'm sure it's all over TikTok as well, is to dampen a cloth, tie a knot in it, kind of like swirl it and then put it in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes and then give it to your baby to just kind of like bite on and nibble on stuff like that. And she loved that as well. She kind of sucked at it more than she did nibble it. That obviously gives the baby a lot of relief through just cooling those gums. Another tip that I thought was amazing that one of my best friends actually sent to me who's having a baby soon as well, so I'm really excited for that. She sent me this tip to put the baby's dummy in an ice tray in water and that ice cube would then freeze onto the dummy and they could kind of suck at the ice cube. Ophelia, love that. I'll actually insert a picture right here. She looks so cute. You can use breast milk and you can also use yogurt to do that. But I kind of felt like once that has thawed, that goes everywhere and breast milk is sticky, yogurt is sticky, but water, you can just easily clean it up. Another tip that I got from a friend who has pretty much worked with babies her whole life is to put wet wipes in the fridge and then give these cool wet wipes to your baby. Obviously, if you're doing this, just make sure that the wet wipes are water-based. I use ones by Pampered. I think it's like 99.9% .9 water. So those work really, really well. And again, it's just nice and cooling and soothing for the baby to suckle on those. I didn't do this very frequently, to be honest. I preferred the idea of wetting a towel Owl, but it is also an option. At the moment, Ophelia is trying out new solid foods, and I found that one way to help her with her teething was to give her cold fruit. I've given her cold watermelon, which she has loved to just kind of suck on as well. Like anything cold, basically, I think babies love during teething because it soothes those gums. Also, I've given her cold grapes, which she loves. So if you are doing solid foods with your baby whilst they're teething, a great way to help them is to just give them cooler, foods. I feel like everything I've just said has just been about cooling those babies' gums. So let's move on to two other tips I have that don't involve you freezing anything or giving your baby anything cold. <laughs> One piece of advice that a midwife has given me when it comes to a baby's teething is that it's important that that child has routine and consistency. Because they're going through so much pain, they don't need their day to look different every single day. In general, babies like consistency. I definitely will be making a video on kind of like how our day is structured and how I schedule out our day and how we keep a routine with Ophelia. Consistency is very important when your baby is teething, just so they don't get overwhelmed with everything going on with their pain and their teething. And the last tip that I have is 
Be patient with your child. Teething is so painful for these babies, so give them extra snuggles, offer them naps earlier, you know, keep them close, learn their love language and fill their love cup. Just make sure that you take time to give them extra love, give them extra attention, and just to be there for them. And I know as a first time mom, that might be easy to say because I don't have any other kids that I have to look after. But even if it's your second, third, fourth, fifth, seventh, millionth child try to just take out time to be close to that kid whether it is carrying them in the baby carrier or spending more time playing with them so there you go those are my tips and basically what i've been doing during this teething phase again i'm sure i only scratch the surface of what you can do during teething so if you have any tips and tricks any experience then please put it in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do so the button is down below so go ahead and tap it also if you'd like to you can ring the bell so you're notified every time i upload i hope you guys are having a great day and a great week and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys